Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. A month after his collapse at the Milrose Games in New York, Jamaican Olympian Kemoy Campbell has told the Gleaner that he is hopeful he will be able to return to competition. Oddly as it sounds, I was thinking I'm moving up to the marathon, like, like a year down the road. A 27-year-old Jamaican woman has been arrested in the Bahamas for pretending to be a dentist. The alleged pretender was set to be arraigned in the magistrate's court on several criminal charges this morning. St. Anne Northwest Member of Parliament Dr. Dayton Campbell has withdrawn a controversial statement he made at the People's National Party rally in Port Antonio on Sunday. Addressing party faithful, Campbell suggested that the Bloomfield murder was political. Both the police and the Jamaica Fire Brigade say although emergency responders are trained in basic first aid treatment, it is not mandatory for them to apply these skills when helping victims in emergencies. They were responding to a witness to a crash scene in Kingston who complained that they never sought to save a crash victim who was unconscious but still had a pulse. In sports, Netball South Africa has won the rights to host the 2023 Netball World Cup. The International Netball Federation says New Zealand was the other impressive bidder. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $127.29, the British pound sterling for $170.24, and the Canadian dollar for $97.24. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies across northeastern parishes and mainly sunny conditions elsewhere. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.